for the sign of Virgo. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards and I'll be going through the past, the present, the challenge and outcome. So Virgo, in the recent past, we have the King of Wands. Now with the King of Wands, it's an excellent card in the tarot. This card signifies that someone you cared about also had protective and caring feelings about you and that they were also willing to work hard if necessary to make the relationship work. You probably were more than usually focused on your own work or career at that time. But you did make, you did definitely make time for romance, even if you were single, or you knew you'd end up with being work as the only thing in your life. And this card is paired with a nine of pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is another excellent card in the tarot. If you were currently committed at that time, you could have expected the relationship to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. If you were single, unattached, and looking, this card, it says that someone new who has what it takes to be a new love a meaningful love, deep love, could have been headed your way or could have been coming your way soon. So you needed to smile because the world loves a happy, friendly face, a happy person. And that's a recent past. Now we move on to the present. We have the five of cups. Now, a love relationship you are in may have just ended or may be about to start the process of ending. You need to realize that all is not lost. You're probably not ready to move into a new relationship. So give yourself some time and space and then get back out there. There will come a day when you realize that the reason this relationship ended was to get you to the place that you really want and need to be, which is in a relationship that really works for you and works well. The five of cups is paired with the 10 of cups. Now, if you're worrying about a romantic situation or relationship and you get this card in the reading, it's a clear indicator that you really don't have anything to worry about. You and your lover are on the same page. If you're in a relationship but have not made it formal yet and hope that it comes to pass, take heart, it's coming. Don't sabotage anything by causing problems where there really aren't any. With these two cards paired together, with the Five of Cups, uh, your love relationship may have just ended or about to start the process of ending. Take heed and hold on a minute because we have the Ten of Cups. It looks like everything turned around for the better. I don't know what happened. Uh, the cards, it doesn't tell me that. It just shows that uh, the Ten of Cups took care of any problems that you guys had. And um, if you were worrying about that romantic relationship or friendship that you were in, uh, it's an indicator that it's all good now. You don't have anything to worry about. Okay, you and your lover, you're now currently on the same page. So it looks like, it looks like you two worked out whatever issues you had. You're back together and you're happier than you were before. And that's in the present. And now we move on to the challenge, the Ace of Swords. Now, when it comes to love, the Ace can mean that you are ready to start something new. 
And if you're currently in a committed relationship, it can indicate that there's something about the relationship that you will choose to put a stop to. Don't hesitate to speak your mind. If something in the relationship is hurtful or bad for you, and you lose your partner because you said certain things or you said so, you haven't really lost. You're being guided towards a relationship that's better for you. So tell the truth and speak your mind at this time. That's with the Ace of Swords and it's paired with the Page of Swords. Now this card, it points to mild conflict. You have to know when to push and when to back off. Many fights and discussions, they're really not worth having. As long as your partner is treating you with respect. So allow your partner to have his or her own space. This is crucial for happiness. It's crucial for happiness. If you're unattached, single, get out there and socialize. Meet people. Because love will not drop out of the sky by itself. With these two cards paired together, the Ace of Swords. Um, like I was saying, uh, could mean that you're ready to start something new. If you're currently in a committed relationship, it could indicate there's something about the relationship that you want to put a stop to. Okay? And it's paired with the Page of Swords. Uh, it points to mild conflict. No one to push and when to back off. So either you or your lover uh, probably do not know when to push and when to back off, which is causing conflict in the relationship. Uh, so somebody's ready to put us, possibly ready to uh, put a stop to that uh, situation or the, whatever the problem is in the relationship. It's not looking like the re relationship is coming to an end, but you just need to put a certain stop to certain issues in the relationship. So either you or your partner is trying to do that. Okay, and so there's a lot of communication here. You're speaking your mind or they're speaking their mind. Okay, so just a little trouble in paradise, but uh, that's with every relationship. So I wouldn't worry about it because uh, in the present you still have the Ten of Cups and that's pretty much handling everything because that's one of the best cards in the tarot when it comes to love and um, abundance. So that is the challenge. Now let's move on to the outcome. We have the Page of Pentacles. Now this card is meaning that if you're in a committed relationship, it, it's possibly lost some of its luster. Now that does not mean it's the end. It does not mean that. But it does mean that action and discussion is necessary. To create change, to create change, you must be honest about how you're feeling. If you're unattached, single, and looking for a relationship, and can't seem to find, or you can't seem to meet someone new, look carefully at what you're holding in your heart. You may still be attached to an ex, and may need to let go before you can expect to move forward. The Page of Pentacles is paired with the uh, King of Swords. Okay, so if you take a look at this picture in the outcome, the King of Swords, uh, it clearly shows that this king is a mean, strong, powerful, he's forceful, opinionated, He's probably arrogant, uh, domineering, aggressive. Uh, he's a male figure. He's a part of your life. He's a part of 
the scenario, okay? Now, if this man is your lover, it means that you are going to have to accept him as he is. And whether you are female or male, you'll best deal with him by drawing on your feminine side. Don't put up with being mistreated, though. So if this man, well, not if, but this man, he can walk the line between being stereotypically manly and overstepping his bounds. So you may need to protect yourself sometimes. And with these two cards paired together, the Page of Pentacles, uh, it shows uh, your relationship it's probably lost some luster. That's probably what all the uh, disputes and uh, that's probably what's um, underneath all the conflict that you've been having throughout this reading. But um, so it's kind of lost some, some of its luster, but it's not the end. Keep in mind, it's still not the end because you've got that 10 of cups. It's just, um, it's powerful in this reading. So it's not the end of the relationship. Um, but discussions and action is, is very necessary to create change, okay? You, both of you have to be honest about how you're feeling, okay? And don't forget, if you're single, um, it looks like an ex uh, may be returning. Yeah, but... Um, Look carefully at yourself inside because you're, well, not, well, they, they won't be returning, but um, they're still, they may still be attached to you. So I guess they kind of will be returning or they just never left if you're holding them inside your heart and you haven't let them go yet because it's going to be hard for you to move forward. Now, that's if you're single. And like I said, it's paired with the King of Swords. Now, about this uh, forceful strong opinionated man uh, that could be this um, it could be your spouse that's in the page of pinnacles that you're having uh, arguments with or issues with and it could be why some of the relationship has lost some of its luster because that type of man can be difficult to deal with and um, the, the card, it shows that you're just going to have to accept him for who he is. Uh, I guess usually it's hard for a man like that to change. But they say draw on your feminine side, and that would help soften him up some. But, um, yeah, so that's what I see for the two of these cards paired together. So I wish you luck with this this man and um, like I said uh, usually sometimes if you're extra feminine that will help soften him up so I wish you luck with this and Virgos I just want to say thank you so much for listening I hope this resonate and as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone then again if you like this reading please like subscribe Leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.